to incorporate the way that I needed to incorporate fully. So how's it going today, yo? You know, I was uh, earlier on in the video, I talked about being ghosted at 50. Child. Love is a battlefield. Girl, she ain't lying when she made that song. But we are old. Niggas in these streets are getting bold. Take your money and they go worse. Love is a battlefield. Like, if I ain't learned nothing, I definitely know what my mama say is true. Don't you get them niggas no money. And if they come to your door with their hat in their hair, you don't even tell them that you got it. You ain't got nothing for them. You ain't got no beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, pan, pan, and you name it. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, it takes a while. Even so, um, um, what is that? Mm, I can't get the name of it right now, but they sell it. They're really, really a good company. Um, I also got some organic peeled tiger nuts. So let's take a look at the organic peeled tiger nuts. I bought two bags of these, right? Now, they say that you're supposed to soak these overnight in order to make them melt. But I'm a little curious. I've never tasted a tiger nut. So I'm a little curious to see if I can eat one right out the bag. So I'm just gonna open it up and see what a, a tiger nut tastes like and if I'm gonna like it in a milk. I just cut the bag open. See if I if I actually like like the tiger nut and if I'm gonna like it in a, a milk. Let's, let's smell it. It doesn't have a smell. There's no. It doesn't smell like anything. Let's just get one nut. So this is what the. Tiger nut looks like. Let's see what it tastes like. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. Wow. This tiger nut is really sweet. Like, mmm. And it's just, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. It's a naturally sweet. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I really like it. Mm. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be so good. It's a little... Wow. This thing is like... I wasn't expecting it to be so sweet. Like, you won't need to make... It's a little... um. The texture 
is a little tough, a little woody, but the flavor, mmm. This is so, nuts.com, like nuts.com, really? Freaking good, y'all. Mmm. I don't even know. It's like, it's so sweet. It is nutty. As I'm trying to see what kind of nut. And like I said, the texture is kind of tough. Chewing through it like it's um, almost woody kind of chew. But it doesn't... Wow, that was really good. That's really good. Let's go to the next. I'm not sure... Um. If I did the next one yet, um, I don't know. Did I do cardamom yet? Well, let's just do it again if I didn't. I think I did do cardamom. Um, the next one would be fennel. Boy, that talking nut is like somebody's business for real. Like, so sweet. Um, and fennel. I got the fennel, and this is like I bought a big bag because I had done some research on fennel, and apparently it's good for women our age, ladies. So pick yourself some up if you want to get your goal. I'm just saying. It's supposed to be really, really good um, for that area. So I picked up a really big bag. Cause sister. Mm -hmm. a little bit better the tulip challenge wait well, yeah. I haven't gained any weight right but I haven't lost any either I'm pretty much the same as when I started the challenge y'all which okay I'm not really mad at it right um and I'm not beating myself up about it uh, I'm experiencing the big M. And that is a challenge in and of itself. That is, um, like pushing back hard on my efforts of, you know, trying to uh, reduce my weight at least 20 pounds because that's all I really want to do, 20 to 25 pounds in weight reduction. And it seems like it is really like saying, yeah, now nah, we, mm -mm, we, mm -mm, we, 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 we ain't going to do it. 
And uh, so I have to kind of put, I put that on the back burner mm -hmm. and just, you know, I'm practicing true love in a different way, right? I still eat responsibly. I don't, um, I don't indulge in things that I know is going to really drive uh, my, it, me out of whack. And that's how I'm able to at least maintain my weight. And so, um, I guess that's, that's a good thing, right? Uh, so, and I had to change the name from true love to B-E-I-N-G, being, right? And um, so there's been a whole host of like, uh, like putting me on pause, you know, the weight kind of, and to be quite honest, I'm okay in my skin. I'm okay with me but since I got that out of the way let's talk about what the goings on is with this would you date a bus driver now I am of the school of thought that um Okay, would you date a bus driver? I've dated a UPS driver. I've also dated an NBC executive. And at the end of the day, it should not be an either or, ladies. It really shouldn't. And you shouldn't allow anybody to make you feel as though you've settled. I think that this discussion that we're having is ridiculous. This discussion is really nobody's business. Who a person decides to date, it's really none of my business, right? But they're having this discussion and it's making such an uproar and I, I think it's rather silly. When we could be talking about so many other things. You know, it really shouldn't be an either or. Date who you want to date. No one is guilty if they date somebody who is an executive or who is a mogul, some kind of millionaire. That's fine. And it's fine if you did a bus driver or a UPS driver or oh, ladies. You make it harder than it need to be, child. It's not that hard. It's really not that difficult. Wishing you love, light, peace, and joy. Until next time. Bye for now.